Good evening, everyone. It is a crisis that has attacked our state. AIDS and the HIV virus has touched more than 1,000 Alaskans in the last 25 years. CBS 11 Steve O'Brien joins us now in the newsroom. And Steve, today you spoke with one woman who lost her 41-year-old brother to AIDS just five years ago. That's right, Reagan. Selena Moose lost her youngest brother to AIDS. 41-year-old Frank was diagnosed in June and died just six months later. Today, she attended a ceremony marking the second annual Native AIDS Awareness Day. And all she asks is for everyone to be tested. We did not know anything about HIV and AIDS, and this was kind of a shock, and it totally devastated our family. The HIV virus has devastated more than 1,200 other families, too, and that's in the last two decades. But as we get deeper into the 21st century, the message of AIDS prevention has changed. Alaskan AIDS Assistance Association, or 4As, is rolling with the times. We're talking about behavior. That is what eliminates the transmission of HIV because it's 100% preventable. There's no cure, but it is preventable. 4As helps more than 300 individuals every year. They even released this public service announcement titled, Get It On. It lets people know that condoms symbolize protection. As simple as wearing a seatbelt when you get into it. But if you're involved in risky behavior, there's some questions you need to ask yourself. Are you engaging in sex with multiple partners? What is happening that's putting you at risk? Are you sharing needles because you're using intravenous drugs? But there's even more questions in the Native community. More than 250 Alaska Natives have been infected with HIV since 1982. Now it's about figuring out how to prevent the disease in the bush. Because members of the Alaska Native Tribal Health Consortium say how the AIDS problem is handled in Anchorage differs in rural Alaska. Villages operate as a whole, so everybody's concerned about everybody else. There's interconnectedness, and uh, people look out for each other. As you come uh, you know, to larger cities and, and uh, Anchorage, that, that is diminished. But no matter where you live, the message is the same. Know your status. Unfortunately for Selena Moose's family, they found out the hard way. But at least now, more people are educated. That there, I think, really helped the community to um, understand more about HIV and AIDS and that um, they are not as fearful as um, probably some of the communities are here in rural Alaska. If you want to be tested for the HIV virus and AIDS, there's plenty of places you can go. Call the statewide toll-free helpline at 1-800-478-2437. And if you want to check out an online form for Alaska Native HIV and AIDS prevention, we set up that link on our website at ktva.com. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Steve O'Brien, CBS 11 News. All right. Thanks so much, Steve.